Hey guys, I'm back with the, another video. In this video, we will be covering things that you need to do after installing Linux Mint. The first thing you need to do is to update your operating system. Okay, so make sure your operating system is up to date. Let's move to the another part, another part which is creating desktop icons. As you can see, these are the desktop icons I have put it on desktop. If you want to add any desktop icon on your desktop, simply go to Start menu, then cl right click on here and click on Add to Desktop. You will get it here. Okay, so it's very easy. You need not to worry about these things. Another thing you need to do is to add widgets. I have added RAM and CPU monitors. You can add any other widgets you want to, or you can get it get new widgets from here as well okay then let's move to the customization part and theming part you need to add few more decorations to your desktop in order to make it look beautiful so let's go to settings go to application appearance here you will find the colors as shown in previous video. You can select any of this or you can download it. But I will keep the settings as it, as it is. Go to workspace appearance. Here I have downloaded few work window decorations. You can download these things from here. I'm going to select OS X apply it you can see these are the buttons that has been changed now going to the cursor theme change it go to the desktop theme if you want to change it you can change it or get new themes and click on apply then go to desktop effects go to all effects and here you can select the effects you want as you can see there is no wobble with the windows right now but I have to do this yes there it is wobbly windows click on apply you can select these sliding pop-ups and other effects such as desktop cube desktop cube animations and configure them like let's let me show you first here I have set these shortcuts by clicking here and go to custom and select your own shortcut this is desktop cube so it will show you like this and this will be the cool thing to do with your desktop now this is desktop cylinder i have set meta plus f1 remember that meta key is your windows key so let me press it this is your cylinder it will look like this it's beautiful i love it and third one is desktop sphere that's meta plus f2 you see that you can't do these things on your Windows desktop without third-party software and believe me they are gonna charge you another thing you would love to do is this wobbly windows I'm a big fan of this wobbly windows and there are a few more effects which I would like to show you this is this slide <coughs> and this is the fall apart let me show you if you select this and open any window the closing will be effect let me remove this I don't like this the other thing is this open on too many applications and let me open console right so you get this much nice desktop environment also you can go to corner and select 
from any of applications like that. It's nice things to do with. And when you click on the backward windows, it will switch like this. It's amazing to do those things. Okay, now the third part, the most important part, the softwares which you are gonna likely need. I'm using Thunderbird for my email accounts, so you need to download it from the software manager. Go to software manager, enter your password, and search for the Thunder Thunderbird mail client, and you can get it from there. Here's another software which I like the most. It's Extreme Downloader. It's like Internet Download Manager if you have used on Windows. You can download things from here. You can also download videos from YouTube. It also supports the browser integration. Let me show you. I have installed the Chrome browser. You can also install it from the Software Manager. Okay. So let the Chrome open. It's taking time it shouldn't be okay, here it is here it is the extreme XDM right so you can configure it oh I forgot to change my wallpaper right you can do it by go here and select the wallpaper you want to change you can also select any other option such as animations colors globe but i will go with the image let me put it there. okay 